Yeah. 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 Um, all right, what will I do tonight? Uh, I think, well, hi. Where are some of these people? Um, we'll do a poem tonight. Uh, we'll do a theme poem. Uh, three words. Let's see if we can be less deep. Uh, last couple times we've been doing like depression and, and how not to commit suicide and how the world squelches you down. Common topics for me, honestly. Um, so let's have a word of something fun. Flatulence. Flatulence. <laughs> all right, all right. I mean, this format is designed to set me a challenge. All right. Uh, unfortunately, I can already see in my mind forming ways to make that philosophical and existential. So, <laughs> flatulence. Uh, and let's have from from this gallery. Floofy. Cotton candy. Floofy. 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 Fisting. Whoa. <laughs> Do not make me combine flatulence and fisting. <laughs> Do it. Puppies. All right, come on up. It's okay. He's not prepared. Um, what do we do? Flatulence and uh, cotton candy. Cotton candy. Okay, sure. Flatulence and cotton candy. And from the few of you that are left. Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy? Anal penetration. I'm not going to take Soldier Boy because cultural references often uh, uh, make it very hard for me because I'm old. Something else from the skeleton? Tantric dance. Huh? Doggy style. Finger time. Oh, hoop earring. Hoop earring. I'll take that one. Get out of here. They're not from here. You guys need to go to this school. This is the arsenic, bro. Yes. Flat joints, cotton candy, and hoop earring. The child that we are born as lives within us. The child may have had a rough go of it, we may have had a rough go of it, and we may have tried really hard to kill that child. But it's still there. And it comes out in unexpected ways. It comes out at, a, at, a, at an unforced laugh and a force. Flatulence is nearly universally funny. No one knows why, really. But the child within will always snicker, even if you can hold it together, because it's a funeral. The child within is amazed by the experience of cotton candy. Even if they wind up not liking it, because there are a few odd ones, I, I never liked it. But the experience, the first time, of putting it in your mouth and it sort of melts and, and uncrystallizes, it's a truly unique experience that nothing is going to prepare you for. So the flavor is cool and the sugar is cool, but the experience is a little bit wondrous. Not to mention how it's associated with the with the carnival experience or the circus experience, um, and I am talking about proper cotton candy on a cone of paper that someone spun and not that shit in a bag. <laughs> Couldn't believe it when I first saw that existence. And the wonder of cotton candy is 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 also fairly universal outside the human range. Uh, there's film evidence of, uh, I'm pretty sure it's raccoons being given cotton candy to eat. But raccoons typically rinse their food in water. <laughs> no. So they're like, oh, this is great. Let me rinse it in water. And of course it disappears. It melts. So they do this again and again. Until eventually they learn. Until eventually they figure it out. 
But even though it was sad, there was a bit of a magic trick for the for the. Uh, and then as we get a bit older, we, we still sort of latch on to things uh, from our childhood, and maybe someone with a voice similar to our father's voice gives us a warm feeling, we're not sure why. Someone wearing the hoop earrings that mom wore when we were four, and she was going out for the night, with or without a dad. <laughs> but she was dressed up in being pretty. And that was a special night for her, and we felt awesome about Mom because she was having a special night for herself. And we see someone, whether whether it's someone we, we want to date or just someone on the street who clearly has just done that for themselves. They're dressed up, they've put on little earrings or whatever metaphysical equivalent there is. And they're just shining because they're, they're, they've done themselves up and they're out of the town and they're out to have a good time. And I, I think the joy in seeing that comes from that five-year-old who saw mom. Now, none of these are truly universal because some of us had shitty childhoods and some of us had shitty relationships with mom and some of us are diabetic and can't have cotton candy. <laughs> <laughs> but I think... The, the, the essence there is, is true, that the things that bring us joy when we are very small will tend to linger throughout the rest of our life. Though it may change shape, it may change form, it may become a little whiff of a smell that gives us a, a, a brightness in our day and we're not sure why and we may not even consciously notice it. But it's the smell of grandma's baking or the, the cologne that the, the non creepy uncle used to wear. <laughs> so I, I say, let's um, hang on to that when you notice it happening. Honor it. Appreciate it. And don't, uh, don't try to squelch it like you've been trying to squelch the rest of your chapter. Thank you. You were a hardcore shopper. Goddamn it.